Hey there, and welcome to the Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise Friday Night Community Race. Tonight, we are going underground, and we are doing everything uh, that there is to do down there. My name is Sheep Launcher. I am here in the booth with eNinja81. And Ninja, this is the underground undertaking. That means all eight objectives uh, that our runners have to do are underground. What do you think about these flag sets? I mean, it, it's an interesting set. Of, uh, it's an interesting flag set. Yeah, I think so. Um, the uh, key items are limited to the main locations and the summon locations, meaning the only way a key item could possibly uh, be on the moon is uh, in Cape Bahamut. That is a summon spot, not a uh, moon location. Uh, but otherwise, the underground is the star of the show, where every single uh, every single objective is down there, and the magma key is forced on our runners. So there won't be an arduous hook route to go through uh, on this particular flag set. Yeah, that's really a shame. I would have liked to see the hook route. <laughs> but the uh, magma key will uh, ensure that our runners have access uh, to a lot of these objectives uh, really early on. Our runners have to do eight objectives. Uh, it doesn't uh, look like it uh, from the five things in the uh, middle, but we've squeezed eight objectives onto there. Uh, and our runners have to complete all eight of them to win the game. No Zeroma uh, fight tonight. We have Tybalt in the upper left and Phineas in the upper right, Korgs in the bottom left, and Scarcerer in the bottom right running uh, for uh, for the Friday night community race. Uh, a bunch of really good runners. It will be interesting to see uh, where they want to go. Uh, Ninja T. Wildish is on. Uh, no free characters uh if you were running this race, where would you be starting? Um, well, like most times I say when I'm on comms, my go-to spot is usually the uh, Watery Pass. Yeah, Watery Pass has a bit higher uh, loot, uh, which the Wild-ish uh, weights a little bit more heavily because it is uh, out of the way. You get uh, a good concentration of loot in there and our starting character is a quake kid that is a palum uh, i believe uh starting there uh you happy with a starting palum uh i mean we'll see we'll see what happens see who the other character is as well but uh quake kid's not bad yeah uh immediately gets access to level two magic spells uh just from a fight on mount hobbs so uh, if you can get even a little bit lucky uh, with the second character and with the character on Hobbs, uh, that Quake Kid could really be doing damage uh, for you fast. And uh, Virus and Quake coming relatively quickly will also be really, really uh, helpful. Uh, we are joined by our restreamer, Dathus, and our tracker, Step Lively, uh, for tonight. And our runners are off. We are underway. We are glad to have you with us. Rosa joins a spoon right away. Uh, the Kaipo guards or the Baron guards. I like the spoon. <laughs> Who doesn't? The spoon flag is on. Uh, so Edge can't show up early. Edge is one of those restricted characters. Yeah, he's uh, got to so... be through some sort of gated way, huh? Yeah, but Edward could be anywhere. Edward could even be on Mount Ordeals. Uh, and having a spoon for that Edward will turn him into a slicing, dicing dynamo really early. And so, Infinius, uh, taking your advice, Ninja, and heading directly to the Watery Pass, the other three runners heading to uh, Troya, there is a free key item here. There is no uh, D-Mist Hunt. Uh, so, uh, there is a free key item underneath Edward's bed. And Scars are the first to show us it is just a cat claw. So thanks, Eddie. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed Infinius uh, doing watery pass and picked up Borealis and a Stardust J item. Nice. Nice. Really nice. And a Zeus Rage. So those will really help early game. And Scars are checking out the uh, public treasury 
and picks up a nice elven bow that will uh, hey, really... Hey, cat claw. Yeah. So double cat claws, Yong, uh, really on the menu. And yeah, Eddie can Eddie can be anywhere uh, that the non-free characters are found. There are no free characters on, so no mount or deals, no uh, watery pass, uh, Eddie, this time. Tablet's doing the bold plan and going to uh, Evelyn. So what do you think of, of this play by Tybalt here, Ninja? Uh, Evelyn uh, does have the uh, the weighted uh, loot, but you do have to do quite a bit of resetting. There are three trap chests in here. Yeah. That's the, that's the bad part about it. But it will entirely depend, I suppose, on uh, what he actually gets. Uh, well, he did get a Stardust Rod and a Crystal Ring. Very nice. That that makes Palum kind of a uh, very useful character right off the bat. Corks checking out the shops in Troya, picking up some Cure Twos and Tents at the two item shops there. Don't need to go hog wild on the uh, shops. Remember, you're not uh, uh, you're not going for Zeromus. You're trying to win the game uh, to yeah. complete all eight objectives. So. Uh, of course, the less time you can spend in shops, the better, I think. Yeah. And of course, though, uh, as one of the kits I saw was the dwarf kit, which gives you 10 rune rings. So you could sell those, and there's pretty much your money for the seed. Kane is up on Mount Hobbs, uh, staring down Leviathan. Mm, I do like Kane. And those Zeus rages that uh, Infinius found, very helpful. That's a one shot kill on Leviathan with that Zeus rage. Yeah. That's why I said those those early J items are really nice. Now, I do believe in uh, Troya, uh, in the public treasury, there was a Wind Spear for Cain. Don't know if we've seen anything better uh, for him yet, but with the uh, T Wildish flag on, something will come around. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and I'm figuring. We'll have a Blizzard Spear in. In Castle Evelyn. Yeah, I figured uh, Infinius would go straight to Antlion after getting their third character. Yeah, Antlion, uh, the first of the key item uh, checks, has about, what, a uh, one in four chance of uh, having a Magna key at this point? Uh, uh, possibly. It's a Dragoon Gauntlet. Uh, which will be money. Oh, and finds a nice exit spell. Yeah, be nice for right here. Yes. Uh, precisely, the, uh, the the cave provides, the airline cave provides exactly uh, what you need to get out of it quickly. Quark's finding a Leviathan summon, so oh. Iridia shows up. Uh, Antline Gauntlet. Yeah, the uh, alt gauntlet shows up very early on. This will be a little bit annoying. Uh, but uh, a couple of J items will be used by uh, Infinius here. I always use those J items. Now this is where that Stardust Rod for Tibble is really going to come in handy. Uh, uh, that Stardust Rod can uh, cast that uh, Stardust uh, using it as an item. But uh, Infinius's uh, Palom actually did learn the two spells, so it, it shouldn't be too bad of a fight here. Yep, and uh, with the fights coming from the regular random encounters in the Antlion Cave, we know they're not uh, all that threatening. No. It's just kind of time-consuming. It is. But yeah, the uh, level two spells, uh, Palum automatically knows uh, how to target all. Don't need a uh, separate materia like in some Final Fantasy games to uh, be able to target all with these spells. And Scarcerer uh, also, Scarcerer uh, being the first to head to Fabul actually uh, doing some uh, looting there. 
and will help the King of Fabul defend his castle, which I think is quite noble of him. And it looks like Anthonis is done with the last fight. Yeah, that actually uh, turned out pretty well for Anthonis. Not a huge time sink. And gets a um, darkness crystal. Not as helpful <laughs> in this really. flag set. Not really. But it, it's something. It is a character. Yes. I don't know if you go check said character. Yeah, the uh, right character here could really uh, send the seed into overdrive, I think. Um, and, you know, you might as well check out Cape Bahamut. Maybe it's King Queen Evelyn, and you can knock out that check all at once. So, a doctor and his a doctor and his robot are trying to take over from, uh, the wall, huh? Yeah, the Dr. Luge making a castle call uh, when nobody asked for it. Yep. Doing their uh, special comedy routine. Uh, Balnab doing the, the always classic bonk Dr. Luge first. And we'll see how uh, Infinius does with three characters here and with the a little bit higher level Scarcerer. Uh, not having done Hobbs yet, does not have a level 2 spell on uh, Palum, so Infinius's fight should be much quicker. Yeah, and unfortunately for Scarsker, uh, yeah, you, you gotta take them both. If you yeah. leave, uh, if you leave the robot alone, he, he has a tendency of blowing up. Yeah, that is the, uh, that is the thing, is, is how to allocate the limited damage uh, that Scarcerer is doing. And uh, you don't get experience in between uh, the two phases of the fight. So, uh, really, uh, really unfortunate there. But, does have a wall up on Rosa. Should get through this. Korg's, meanwhile, immediately summoning the big whale. Wants that second character. Or, or fourth character, I should say. I mean, I do like to play. I don't know if he actually checks the item shop up there. I mean, I know it's uh, as standard, and it is no sirens, but there are other useful items in the shops, like on the moon and underground. Sure. Uh... Tier 5 items uh, might be for sale up there. I think it's worth the, worth the peak. And you also got like... And we get a hook from the defense. Yeah, so uh, nice to have. Not going to be the only way underground. Uh, we know the uh, magma key will be uh, forced upon us, but uh, a really nice uh, play there by Scarcerer. Uh, to get through that Dr. Luge fight, at least get a couple levels on. And Scars are not going to sell their spoon to assert dominance over the seed. Holding out hope for a spoony bard, I think. Yeah, and Infinius is uh, exactly where I thought Infinius would go, is right up Hobbs. Or yeah, ordeals, going Matt, up or ordeals. ordeals, Matt ordeals. Yep, uh, and and Infinius kind of uh, doing the clockwise play uh, around the overworld, uh, getting the darkness crystal, getting the hook, uh, and, and uh, yeah, a very interesting key item, dense early game so far. And Scarcher is uh, currently. Checking out, you know, uh, Damsian basement. Yeah, some nice treasure down there. Tybalt up on the moon, checking who that character is. It is a moon Cecil. Oh. Well. Well, I know where uh, Tybalt's probably going next. <laughs> yeah, ordeals would seem to be in the offing uh, for Tybalt to turn. And probably Cecil. Quartz as well. Yeah, turn that Cecil into a Paladin, and with uh, T. Wildish on, uh, 
that means those trap chests in Castle Evelyn have a very good chance of getting a sword that lights up the sky and I, is very holy. I, I do like the high roll for Infinius. With yeah, the with yeah. the grimoire. Yeah, the grimoire summoning the uh, Bahamut. You literally cannot do better than that. And Tybalt finds Moonwine. Bacchus wine. Uh, oh, right. I like it. This is one of my favorite uh, back attacks. It is a Karate Man, and that's because Karate Man will do the kick around the world. I like it. <laughs> yep. Uh, just, uh, just like Scorpion in Mortal Kombat uh, 1. Go uh, straight off the other side of the screen. Uh, Karate Man doing the kick hurt around the world. And both Tybalt and Korg's heading into uh, Cape Bahamut, looting it out. Uh, great play to uh, loot it out. There are no trap chests. I think, chests down I think here. they're also going to check to see what's here. Uh, that's a Lunar Sparkle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And Tybalt wants more information on it. I guess Tybalt didn't uh, pick up anything that he really wanted to see. <laughs> that is a nopest of rope. That is Ogo Pogo. Yeah, no, no thank you there. <laughs> and both Tybalt and Korgs will hightail it back to the blue planet. And Phineas throws off the uh, Karate Man from the bridge. Uh, after dispatching him. And the hero flag is not on, so all of our party members will be able to take part in the Ordeal's changing room fight. And both Tybalt and Korgs, now having gotten their Cecil, immediately going to Mount Ordeal. And there's the... Uh, your. Uh... Obvious underground access in the changing room. Yep. And uh, Mylon and friends are inside the changing room. You know, if you're cold, they're cold. Bring them inside. Exactly. Ooh, this should be uh, fun. Mylon uh, <laughs> goes down first. If the gas had a chance, uh, they would be very punchy at this spot. Uh, but a virus quickly cleans them up. Yeah, that's one thing you do not like to do is uh, take out Mylon first. Darcer are going to take that hook and find out who is here on the hook route. Uh, another a couple of shops to open up, some nice loot, a character. I, I actually really like this play from Scarcerer. Oh, yeah. The only thing is, he doesn't have a natural source of exit yet. That might be why the others haven't uh, come here yet with the hook. Or, uh, Infinius is the only one, other one with the hook. Um, so, doesn't have a source of exit, we'll have to walk back. But, oh, it does have an exit item. So, that might be yeah. uh, what he was saving it for. And I saw, what was it? Coffins for sale. Yeah, uh, elixirs as well. Yeah, just in case you need uh, any of those. As Tybalt and Korgs continue to uh, plow through ordeals, Infinius will be the first one to check uh, the Baron in. Yong, in his vanilla spot, uh, is. Sitting, messing around with uh, with the computer in the Baron Inn. Yeah. CPU in the first five. Scars are finding a vanilla Edge. Edge, a very interesting character. I believe Scars does have a ninja sword in their inventory. That is very interesting. Yeah, that'll make a very nice uh, addition to this party. 
Cool Valbalus in the second spot uh, for Infinius, and luckily has a cane for just this kind of occasion. And Scarcer does not have a ninja sword uh, in his inventory. Unfortunately, uh, and will uh, loot out some uh, some of the Edlin pathway. Yet another heavily weighted area. And I'm seeing double ninja for karates. And Phineas gets the Luca key. That is required. Yep. And so now, uh, Infinius has access to five uh, of the eight objectives. Uh, has the magma key so it can defeat the king and queen at the town of uh, uh, at the town of seven monsters. Uh, whenever uh, can complete dwarf castle and the top of lower Babel whenever, and now also can complete the sealed cave. Needs the tower key. Needs the pan. Uh, and needs the Legend Sword and Adamant Rock. And it looks like Infinius is going to be the first one to go underground. Yeah, Has not, not, wit not checked the moon yet. What do you think of this play? Not checking the moon, not checking the hook yet. Um, I don't know. This, this seems a little, you know... I don't know. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got a, a, a quake kid who knows virus already. Uh, has a uh, has a Rosa has a cane, and so must think he can uh, roll at least across some of the underground uh, with what he has right now. And immediately going to head to Dwarf Castle. We'll see if he's just here for shopping, if he's going to check uh, who the boss is as well. Dwarf Castle will have at least one Tier 5 uh, item for sale. It is a Leviathan Summon. Uh, Life Potion's also for sale. Uh, I believe all of our runners have found a Leviathan Summon. There was one at least available on Mount Hobbs. Yeah, I was about to say, but, there was one from looting, I remember that. Yeah. And there's a ninja sword for sale in Dwarf Castle. Scarcer yeah. picking up did, some slump... Uh, did Scarcer pick up more than one slumber sword? Is looking to start some of them? Uh, I mean, they're relatively cheap, and they do do quite a bit of damage. And using that exit item. Oh, heroin robes for sale in Dwarf Castle as well. Heroin robes, samurai bow. Gonna and, let Rosa shoot stuff? Yeah. And so Infinius not interested in seeing who the bosses are at Dwarf Castle yet. Gonna complete uh, a shopping uh, round. Head to Tamra. Pick up some extra loot and give us a peek at the job dwarf, maybe. That's a nice longsword for that edge that Infinius does not have. Thanks for the tease. Thanks for the tease, buddy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and there's a light sword for a Cecil he does not have. Yeah, not a bad uh, sword. Probably not going to find a uh, holy sword for sale, um, but they should be relatively available from uh, a trap chest. Tybalt has stormed the underground. Korg's right behind, and uh, Scarcer are going to clean up some of the uh, stuff on the overworld. Uh, now tangling with their alt gauntlet. Infinius trying to do some looting on the trip down to the Fame Arch. Uh, did 
encountered the uh, warrior's chest. I did find some mute arrows, uh, which, if Infinius is uh, thinking about making Rosa a uh, killer archer, uh, really nice to have in his arsenal. Yeah, especially against uh, mage type uh, enemies. Mm -hmm. Also, speaking of uh, mage slaying gear, was that just a runex? That I, I believe talking? so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that very nice uh, for Kane uh, to have. Ooh, and the agar shop having cabins and silk webs for sale, uh, and Korg's picking up a, a couple of each. And there was a song. Well, Tybalt, the runner of the people, uh, finding out the job dwarf was a pressure vessel inspector. What do you suppose a pressure vessel is? I imagine it's under some kind of stress. Uh, 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 and assuming like a submarine. Need like I said, I would assume something like a submarine. <laughs> Could be. There's probably other vessels. Like, th that's a big vessel, but they're probably, like, little vessels. Anyway. Uh, Infinius took a look at the uh, King-Queen. Gonna have to uh, fight with them sometime, but decides not to right now. I believe that was an Odin and a Sparkle, if I uh, saw correctly. Yeah, if that's Odin at uh, oh, Astura, Astura is, is Tracker saying. It was Odin and Asura. Yeah. Uh, if Odin's at Leviathan, that's not a fun time. No, it will not be. And that makes uh, Edward's absence even more glaring. Maybe we could get uh, a Kanderstruck strats. Uh, we'll see how our runners want to route the rest of the seed, but yeah, you have to defeat the king and the queen sometime. Nobody's saying you have to do it right now. And so in Phineas, at least, has kind of uh, completed everything there is to do on the overworld. Uh... Ninja, you have the un entire underground uh, open to you. You want to tangle with Dwarf Castle first, or you want to make the Keyless Tower play like Infinius is? Uh, with his party, probably Keyless Tower. Yeah, Keyless Tower, uh, one boss. Uh, it's a boss with a lot of health, but is not all that threatening. Uh, most bosses up here aren't. aren't. Uh, and Phineas doesn't know that uh, Ogo Pogo is off the table, at least for this spot. Simple setting up the pan check here, and it's going to go back above ground. Simple has not yet uh, defended Fabul, going to get uh, two key item checks in at once. And this is interesting. Korg's at least going to try and hang with the warriors. Uh, going to try and use Quake, uh, I would think. If he, no, that, that Palom does not have Quake. No way. 284. That is a lunar sparkle up at the top of the tower for Infinius. If this is Wyvern, uh, this will be a very bad time uh, for Infinius. The uh, Witchburn is not on. This will be a standard issu issue Wyvern if it is. It is Pale Dim, and Infinius will play the song of Pale Dim's people. <laughs> We 
try to avoid it as much as he can. Uh, he's gonna jump with Kane. And, uh, gonna bear with, uh, with Yong, most likely, if, if and when Yong decides to attack. Cork's taking down the uh, warrior Scarcerer is going to get the bad news of who is in Cave Bahamut. Is the information valuable? Maybe. Uh, but that will be a huge nope. I would think so. <sighs> I, saw, I saw Rosos kind of doot dooting back Mr. Le doot doot doot. And that is a twin harp from, uh, she from one? Sheila. Really interesting. Not required that we know of. It is a key item check, and our runners are still looking for four more key items. But it's a long check. Does Tybalt, uh, wanting to be a runner of the people, immediately go chase that? I think so, actually. No, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe Tibble's gonna get the hook and see what's at the hook route first. Could certainly be uh, a defensible play. And Finney is continuing this absolute slog of a fight against Pale, Pale Dim. Remember, Pale Dim has what twenty thousand HP up here. I think twenty one thousand here. Yeah. That's way too many HP. It's like a whole bunch of HP. Mm, yeah, it's it's a, it's a number that exists. And Tibble is going to go check the character, I'm, I'm assuming. Korg's finding his uh, one scoop of vanilla in the Fae March. Yeah, and just saying, like, nah. And Phineas is through. And uh, keeps that young uh, down. Don't know if he was uh, intending to. Uh, but top of tower, besides being an objective, is also doubly required. That is an adamant rock. Yeah. There, there's part of your forge. Yep. So, uh, and Phineas is the first runner on stream to uh, achieve an objective uh, as soon as uh, he does Dwarf Castle, that one will light up uh, because there are only uh, five buttons. Uh, maybe some feral animals ate the other buttons, uh, but we have to squeeze eight objectives into five buttons. Our runners have to do them all. Sybil's uh, finding his edge. And Korgs is going to be the first one to uh, check out who is at Dwarf Castle and finds a dancing mom bomb. I, I definitely have a question for Tibble whenever this race is over. Uh, some, something about his naming uh, scheme. Okay. <laughs> I, don't uh, know why, I, I don't know why I'm the teller. <laughs> oh well um you know it, you don't like being called a kid you don't like being called old I, i'm not sure what to tell you fair enough <laughs> well mom bob's got to get out there and dance but uh Korg's palum now knows quake uh so uh this fight should go pretty smoothly now, the real question for Tybalt, though, is uh, harp or not? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, now that he has an edge, has a decision to make. You, you would think Dwarf Castle, the Keyless Tower, or harp are your three. Uh, it also hasn't done Baron in. Uh, but those are your options at this point. I mean, Ninja Long... I mean, Ninja Long uh, Edge is pretty nice. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, Sybilt is gonna go fishing. He wants a holy sword. Yeah. Would probably be uh, fairly happy with a high tier cane weapon as well, a defense sword, white spear. No adamants uh, uh, in this flag set, so Sybil can't spike one of those from a chap chest. Hey, there's a there's a back row item there. Yeah, a nice full moon uh, for Edge, and that back row glitch is on. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I think uh, the full moon has enough attack power; it'll just be useful on its own. Well, a full moon is actually equivalent to a. Uh... Is equivalent to a long sword, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. And he's already got ninja long, so. The second uh, fight in Dwarf Castle, as Korg's uh, showing us, is the Kaipo guards. That means Baron guards are uh, lurking in the Baron Castle. Korg's to pick up a Tella. It has to slowly watch that hand. Just step on it. Just, ah! ah! They never listen to me. Infinius about to uh, do the same. Get his tell. The warp glitch is not on, by the way, so uh, in order to get this uh, item, the runners will have to go all the way through the uh, Luca Cave, which... Uh, it's nice because that's something that's required anyway. That is a package. Ninja, any any character you would sit through the package for? Uh, right now with the current party that they have, not really. No. Or the current party composition that can happen right now. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody. Because there, I was about to say there is no mop in this seed. Who is not in this seed? Plus, there are no boss hunts. It's not like there could yeah. be a rogue uh, Demas back there. Well, there could be, uh, but Demas does not have any key items, so exactly. no reason to sit through that. Scarsor will head to Baron Inn uh, for, uh, for his young and uh, goes in the training room. Maybe thinking of a, a naming way? Yeah. <laughs> and... Still looting. Wonder what Scarsaur is looking for, if anything. Tybalt's utilizing those coffins pretty good. Getting yeah. some life glitches off while at it. Very nice. I believe this is his second. Uh, trap chest. There's oh, a crystal sword. Hello. I would be like, hello and goodbye. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the seat is on easy mode now. Uh, Tybalt has got uh, the I mean, ultimate good. weapon. Corks gets his Luke key and his uh, Yawn. And Infinius going to be the first to actually uh, check out what is in that sealed cave. Well, while uh, Infinius uh, prepares to embark on this journey, and while the others are kind of retracing uh, some steps, do want to thank our restreamer Dathus and our uh, intrepid tracker Steph Lively. Uh, as well as my co-commentator, E-Ninja81, bringing the, uh, the knowledge, the foresight uh, to, this, to this match. Uh, thanks to all of you for helping to put this show on. And thank you as well, Sheep Launcher. Ooh, a nice glass hat for Infinius. I see what Infinius is doing here. Door grind! You know, you don't need much of a grind because you're playing to win the game. I you know. do need some levels in order to tangle with that uh, Odin and Asura you know is, uh, is is in the offing. That's what I'm kind of thinking. 
and doors are about equivalent to a siren almost. And it's, you know, a place you've got to be anyway. Yep. And Tybalt is going to take that Twin Harp and make the play. Hmm. I mean, this could be this could be a big breaker here. I mean, I mean, this could be this could be Tower Key. It could be the other part of Forge. Yeah. Yeah, with uh, key items not available on the moon or in trap chests, the uh, and we've odds already... that it goes up, or the odds that it shows up here go up. Well, not to count, uh, the Fae Marsh freebie was a Soma drop, so that is the one zonk on K-Main. Mm. So pretty much every other check is going to be some sort of key item. Orcs finding an Excal in uh, Lucy Cave, so there's another Zonk off the table. Uh, I guess but, there is more. I mean, one, it's isn't really there? nice, but it's not a key item. Oh, I guess there are two, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, Cave Value. Oh yeah, Summons on. Yeah. All right, Tybalt is going to play us a song. That was a lovely rendition of the song from Final Fantasy VIII, Fisherman's Horizon. Uh, Tybalt takes care of Plague. Uh, Korg's, meanwhile, got uh, through the sealed cave. That is the pan. That is absolutely required. We're going to hear music four times tonight. Yep. And Infinius defeats uh, his doll in the sealed cave. Uh, if the dolls are in the steel cave, does that mean they're still in their original packaging? You shouldn't. Hmm. Maybe they're maybe they're worth something. I don't know about that. But uh, you know, it's uh, it, it is funny. The double dip of the uh, of Sylph Cave, and at least the double dip of Babool. Uh, gonna be required because that twin harp that led to the pan uh, was from Sheila One. Yeah. Meanwhile, Scarcerer uh, is poking around Evelyn Castle. Did find the Excal from the uh, Stalemate Skull uh, chest, and will find the Crystal Sword from the Black Cat Lamias here. Phineas also threw uh, the sealed cave. Korg's going to defend uh, Fabul while he's up here, and Phineas 
feels like, I think, uh, that now is the time. Uh, has a date with Odin and Ashura. Now, Ninja, I would be... If I were running this race, I would be tempted to try to save Odin and Ashura absolutely for a last. Uh, what do you think of that strategy? Uh, I would as well. Those are both... Well, I mean, Ashura is not quite as bad. That Odin is super scary. Yeah, the, the, the issue with that with that plan is that uh, not only are Odin and Ashura both required, but they could also contain key items, which uh, our runners are still looking for a lot of them. Uh, Legend Sword, still uh, MIA. Tower Key, still we don't know where it is. So yeah, that would be my... Uh, that would be my uh, kind of preference, but we're really starting to run into the uh, the pointy end of when that stops being an effective strategy. Yeah. And so Infinius biting the bullet going to uh, refit. And we'll see if he wants to take on this vanilla Ashura first, or uh, if he decides Odin should be the first to go down. Ooh, and Tibble doing a very rare uh, plateau landing. Yeah, Tibble needs to go back to flight school again. <laughs> Probably would be fun fighting some monsters up on that plateau. You probably have a, a really good view of the surrounding lava, but uh, unfortunately, you can't get there from here. No. Okay, now, yeah, Tibble, he's going to get his uh, look at the, uh, you know, the mom bomb, which is really, even that dwarf one is not very fun anyway. No. Well, and Phineas using the fact uh, that he has two blink casters. Uh, to good effect, setting up for Ashura. Ashura will not uh, do the first attack uh, unless you really, really wait her out. Um, that, so we'll try to uh, get Blink set up on everyone before uh, actually starting to do damage. This spot probably a little too fast uh, to do an effective uh, gray face lock, but there's that rune axe we were talking about earlier. Yeah. That uh, rune axe has bonuses against mages, uh, and that cane slicing for 5,300. Even without a, a Cecil just doing boffo damage against Ashura. I would not be surprised if... And Phineas doesn't cast ref. Hmm? I figured he might cast reflect on Asura using a Tala. Armament wall. Right, gonna try and win this damage race. And actually uh, doing a little bit of an effective uh, lock strategy. Uh, locking onto that gray face. That gray face only does uh, life one. And uh, if you attack it while it's on Grave Face, it'll only go back to the Grave Face uh, if you're quick enough. I mean, this is very good by Infinius. Yeah, Infinius uh, making this look easy. It is not. Ashura goes down. Very well done from Infinius. The first uh, to do three objectives. Three out of eight, taking down Ashura, Ooh. getting the Earth Crystal. That's interesting. Another, another key item check, another two characters. Uh, but we don't care about that as much at this point. <sighs> I'm Orcs having to scramble a little bit more here. 
I'm kind of wondering if... Uh, he's going to probably try to... I have an idea what he's going to do, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll try to uh, take down Odin. We'll see what kind of strat he wants to use. I, and, I uh, our... Well, I saw he uh, moved the power shirt from uh, Kane to Young, who has like, the Thunderclaw. That Thunderclaw uh, will really do lots uh, and lots of damage. Young survives. Yeah, he's got to stay awake first. And our yeah. tracker, uh, Step Lively, correcting me, uh, Infinius has four uh, objectives completed. Just has to do four more, of which the, the king is one. And hoping for a little better luck this time. The thing that might bite them all, except Tybalt right now, is Tybalt did the Sheila 1, and the Sheila 1 led to the harp, which required... Which to go to the required, you know, objective. Yeah, the, the the harp absolutely has to be done. I know a lot of runners uh, like to fade the harp uh, for as long as possible, but you got to do it at some point uh, in this flags in, in this seed. And Tybalt heading into the sealed cave, while uh, Scarser now on his Ashura fight and Korgs is going to go in and uh, see if Odin's really all that tough. And, and guess what? He's pretty tough. Yeah, the only bad part about this fight it's not so much I mean He's kind of got some control over it, but the problem is is chewing through all that HP because at Leviathan, Leviathan spot has like, oh, and he does, though. And Phineas has done it. Takes care of Odin uh, using some uh, Thunderclaw action, uh, getting some Lit Spells off, uh, really packing those actions in. Gets a Pink Tail for it. No Adamants, so... Uh, it won't be an adamant armor, but it will be another nice uh, item. We'll see if he goes to turn it in. I don't see that happening, but... So... I mean... Yeah. Um, I... Tybalt found the Excal, decides, I don't need it. I have a crystal sword. I, I don't know if Tybalt remembers he needs to do the Seal Cave in yeah. order... Like, that's an objective. I do like Infinius' play now, because Infinius is now setting up Sheila 1. Yeah. You're going to get the good news that the Harp hopefully chases the Harp. I would do Harp into Earth Crystal, means he's got it. If he does Sheila 1 first. Oh, that would be a very nice chain uh it's always fun to do the twin harp into the earth crystal and if the earth crystal contains the baron key that's just that's the dream uh he's going first to check sheila one i think yeah and beans he's already in a hurt state twin harp will go real fast should skip all the cutscene stuff you know the whole script with uh, the spells and the uh, weak sure yeah, uh, and Phineas walked across a bunch of poison yep. tiles. Uh, and so, you know, all the time when uh, the Dark Elf is uh, screaming, me, attack you, and all that, uh, you can just short-circuit all of that if you're already almost dead. Yep, and I pretty much, I know how Phineas plays. He's going to go straight to that harp. And Korgs is also going to make that play. So Korgs did defeat Ashura, but did not defeat Odin. Decides he'd rather be doing anything else. So, uh, Infinius kind of has the advantage here, uh, at least on stream. There are five runners overall uh, in the community race. And uh, if this uh, looks like fun to you, come join the 
uh, community races there on uh, every Monday and Friday. Monday at 8 uh, p.m. Eastern, Friday at 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Absolutely no uh, skill or experience required. They'll even let me run these things. Me too. <laughs> So we'd, uh, we'd love to have you join us, and uh, getting on the Discord is the best way to uh, come join the fun. And uh, Tybalt doing lots of damage to this Ashura, but uh, in a little bit of a hole. Oh, Corks has to go through the whole script because uh, Tella does not have a metal piece of equipment on, and so cannot be paralyzed. But finally perishes. And so Corks shines the spotlight on the Spoonie Bard to play us the tune for the second time from Final Fantasy VIII, please enjoy. And it looks like we won't uh, get to hear the third harp rendition uh, by Infinius uh, because it just happened too quickly. So both Korgs and Infinius are through with that plague and get their pans. I am assuming they are both going to hit the Earth Crystal. Well, Might as well. You're here. Yeah. And it would be nice to uh, get exit for that Rosa. Yep, pretty much. So, uh, Tybalt did defeat uh, Ashura, but uh, is having some trouble with Odin, as uh, most everybody is. Yeah. And neither Korgs nor Infinius going to check that Earth Crystal right away. Wow. Korgs immediately beelining for that pan, and Infinius is as well. Yeah. Do your objectives, and they are certainly doing that. The Earth Crystal could be a zonk of a check. And so even though it, it uh, makes sense uh, to kind of chain them in, both Korgs and Infinius say... Uh, the pan check is going to be two key item checks. End up back above ground anyway. Can uh, take care of the earth crystal then. Uh, but they want to do uh, their objective and potentially spike two key items here. 
Baron another, key? That's another fetch. Is this going to be a fetch quest? <laughs> it already has been. I mean, she wanted to get the harp, which gave the pan, so yeah. And so uh, the Baron key with the uh, main flag on, with the summon flag on, does hold two key item checks. Yeah. But uh, now it'd be uh, even nicer to link the Earth Crystal check and the Baron Key check. Yeah. Yeah, basically do Earth Crystal, and then if it's a Zonk, then do the Baron Castle, which there's two checks there. You got Baron Throne and Odin's Throne. Well done by Tybalt. Getting through that Odin. And now Tybalt right behind. And both Infinius and Korgs get the tower key. Do your objectives. Oh, man. So. Uh, uh, so... They've already yeah. done the top of tower, so... you got to go chase that tower key. Yeah. You have to do it. If the tower key is a legend sword, uh, that's it. Yeah. The only thing I'm hoping for is I'm hoping the legend's up there with that nope noodle. <laughs> that would be something. Uh, uh, you thought that Odin would be the toughest boss you'd have to face this seed? What if Ogo Pogo is required? At Cave Bahamut. So Infinius making his second jaunt up the tower. Korgs uh, do, making the key full tower play. The lesser known cousin of the key less tower play. And Tibble's going to get the good news of the tower key. And not, not to be confused with the, you know... The tower only key check. Finding D missed in the uh, super cannon room. As a reminder, uh, Edward had uh, a key item at the beginning, so D missed does not lead to anything in and of itself. Nope. And D missed fades away very quickly. Uh, only a thousand HP in this spot. So didn't even get to see a tablets. Tablets gonna do Earth Crystal. Interesting. So this is a, a play that could pay off for Tibble, but, but the chances of it are looking increasingly unlikely. But there's also the fact that Tibble reset out of Sealed Cave, didn't he? He did. Yeah. He sure did. Uh, Scarcerer uh, got himself into a little bit of trouble with those dolls. Did defeat the three dolls in the front, uh, but managed to uh, defeat the dolls without a Cal Brana big doll sighting. So, uh, uh, well done he, for him. Did he not have arrow glasses? <laughs> he, he might have, but... Um, I mean, you can uh, arrow glass the back dolls. Yeah, I didn't see him use one there. Mm. Yeah, because those back dolls would have had a lot of HP. Yeah. Yeah, was uh, using Holy Sword Cecil to uh, full effect, but still, uh, still a scary situation. Finny is going to be the first uh, to show us the results of the tower key. And if Phineas is one legend sword away, uh, rat go tail, match, <laughs> and lands short. <laughs> Very good, Phineas. And so, which, uh, <laughs> which fetch quest do you chase first? Earth crystal, Baron, or uh, the rat tail? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, any of them could have that legend sword. Yeah, I know. 
the rat tail is definitely the quickest although Infinius oh, yeah. hasn't summoned the uh, hovercraft yet so it has to go through that whole rigmarole which I'm assuming if Infinius is raising it that's probably his first check yep and uh, you can get a nice uh, item from the pink tail while he's there yep Tybalt uh, takes down the antlion in the tower of Zod. We'll get to find out who his uh, next two characters are. Oh, look, it's a Sid. Yeah. And I would guess the uh, the tied-up character is Rydia, but because we haven't seen her. I haven't We're, seen would, Edward either. Yeah. we Rydia would have been useful early on, especially since we had early access to a Leviathan, but uh, her utility has... Uh, come and gone. Oh, look, it is Aridia. And uh, Infinius finding a sand ruby uh, from the rat tail. Not what he was looking for. And going for the uh, Baron check first. Yeah, two key items hmm. in Baron. You know the first fight is free. It's Baron Guards. Evil Wall is blocking Tybalt's way out of the Tower of Zot. Luckily for us, we know which guards are now at Baron, and I'm pretty sure Infinius has hourglasses as well. Yeah, shouldn't need them at this <laughs> at this spot. Uh, and Phineas uh, has the levels to take care of it without any issue. Yeah. Garcera makes quick work of the Pale Dam at the top of the tower. Yep. We'll get his out of it rock. Korg's also going to summon that hovercraft at this point. Dibble makes the walls come crumbling down. And it's going to crumble down so hard uh, that Tybalt has to learn exit to get away from it. That's a nice item. That's but a tiara. But overall, the time investment, not worth it for Tybalt. And Phineas quickly threw on these guards. And does Infinius uh, want to take care of the throne first? <laughs> Which throne, I should say? Does Infinius want to take care of uh, If it's me to be safe, I would do... I would have done Baron Throne myself, and then... Because it, it puts me right outside, save, and then go back and do Odin. And, and we get a free fight here anyway. Yeah, different royalty sitting on the Baron throne. Sybil also converging on this basically free Baron castle. And Scarcer is setting up their Sheila check. Korgs wants another crack at that Odin. Uh, I don't blame Korgs for that. Yeah, don't know what that Odin is hiding. Uh, hoping that the uh, Odin is hiding the Legend Sword and can be uh, done quickly. Um, we'll get unfortunately, that unfortunately, we know it's that's not it. Edward, where have you been? We had a spoon since the literal beginning of the game. I mean... Yeah. We were in Baron Castle. If we just looked around the corner, we could have seen him and said, Hey, come here. But... No. 
Simba going to uh, take the basement throne in between uh, the two fights on the main floor. This is uh, this is kind of bold. Ooh. Ooh. That's not fun. That's an apple from the trash can. Uh, well, there's only one there. There's, well, I'm sorry. There's two checks left that Phineas can do. <laughs> so Phineas is going to check the Baron basement. But if it's not here. Oh, it's, it's at Ogopogo on the moon. <laughs> uh, that would be fun. Uh, Dathis, you magnificent person. I'm hoping. Edge stays upright for Tybalt. Very impressive. Yep, able to get the uh, timing right. Korg's uh, gonna try for Kinderstruck strats, I think. Oh. Legend Sword in the Baron's uh. basement. We have no mode. And we, and, and, uh, and Phineas is just in go mode. Yeah, and Phineas with 5 HP on Yong gets through Dark Knight Cecil. That's 4 more than you need. Yes. The math does check out there. <laughs> and in Phineas just has to go forge. Cannot exit out of Barry Castle for story related reasons. It's like half the castles you can teleport out of. <laughs> Garcer is going to give us heart music. Uh, if Infinius does win the game, he will break into it, but uh, Scarcer, play us a harp in celebration of Infinius's apparent win. Gets the Nirvana staff, but that's not the most important thing. The important thing is that all objectives are complete, and Infinius has won with a time of 1.02. Or 1.09.29. GG's to Infinius the Thunder from Down Under. Takes home the Friday Night Community Race. Very impressive. Garcerer does get through uh, that plague. We'll see if Infinius wants to uh, join us uh, for an interview. But GG's to, uh, to him made all the right plays. I think where it really turned for Infinius uh, was uh, taking care of uh, masterfully of that Fame March. We are joined by our winner, Infinius. GG's. Uh, GG's. Uh, GG, man. Looking good sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how happy were you uh, that the Legend Sword was where it was and not behind Ogopogo at Cape Bahamas? Oh, I know. I never went there. I had no idea. I, that's right. <laughs> he, he, never, never he, never, he never found, uh, you know, him on the moon. Oh, uh, it was, it was uh, Cecil on the moon? Uh, yeah. The, uh, unlucky. Um, yeah, so I, I did the calculus on what... And on um, whether it was actually worth launching the whale to get that character, and the conclusion I came to was no, nah, was I don't think it was worth it. Um, like it was, it was taking about three minutes to get the character, and the only character I could think of that would have been good in that spot was Edge. And it's like, and maybe Cecil later on, but like at that point, I, I didn't think it was worth three minutes. Yeah, well, my biggest concern was. 
Yeah, my big concern was actually um, Zot actually Zot having Zot having the value because like I went for the the numbers play of going to uh, Baron over Zot first since I cleared everything else. Um, now I figured with Ogo Pogo I'll be okay because I think figured everyone would last location anyway, so it wasn't that big a problem. Well, I um, as I was saying before you hopped on, I think where the race really turned for you was uh, your uh, masterful uh, taking care of the Fame Arch. How did you uh, approach uh, the Ashura and the Odin? You made both fights uh, look pretty easy. Um, kind of got lucky in that. In a sense, I kind of got a bit lucky. Um, like finding, finding, like just from just from looting. Um, like, and I think I found a. I think it was Dwarf that had the Thunder Claw. I mean, when you see a Thunder Claw, you just always buy it, right? Like, especially when you have a Yarn. Like, you never know when it's going to be useful. Um, and then, and then I saw the, then I saw the Heron Red Force also in um, Dwarf, in Dwarf. And it's like, oh, and I remembered, oh wait, there was a Samurai Bow in, in that shop. So, kind of had, and that kind of formulated um, what I was going to do overall anyway, but when I saw the um, Yasuo, there's like, oh, and because I think there was mute arrows in the fair match box, the first box you open at the top right corner. I was like, oh, that's convenient. Uh, that I, I need to find, I need to find good arrows anyway. So, and I think I found a rune axe. Yes, you did. I think that was also in the fair, fair, uh, in the on the path path to the fair match as well. I think so. Yeah, I think yes, it was. Su got super lucky. Got super lucky in what I looted and. Um, yeah, just if things just paid off in that, in that sense. But I think the key thing was ha coming in, knowing what my plan was going to be. Like, just I had knowing I had two like mage mage killers. Um, just so I could just take my time. So it doesn't do anything. Just get my blinks up and then just go to town with berserk. Uh, and then with thunder claws, like yeah, it, Yang is my carry for that one, and hopefully he had, he could do enough punches to get through. Which I think I was very close to not having enough. I think I, I, I think if there was if if I got really unlucky, I might have fallen a bit short. But I know, I d I didn't think there was another cycle going after that. So, well, close to the end, you were you know looking for one key item and were given a, a whole bunch of uh, chaining items, fetch quest items. Uh, when that happens, how do, high does the, the panic raise, and how do you kind of uh, decide where to go? Like, kind of it's uh, by, fee by feel sometimes. Like, I, said, uh, I, I think when I, like, so, but obviously after, um, so, like, for example, when I did Sheila 1, it's like, well, I, I don't have that many options left. It's like two and a half. It's like, well... I, this is this is the best spot to actually do twin hub because I'm near most of my characters are dead here. I nearly I kind of don't mind he, the heal if if that doesn't if that doesn't turn up anything I can then do two arms um, that. Um, so yeah, I think. Into, but as the number as the numbers um, number of options decrease, I don't know. I just don't get too panicked about those kind of things because like it whatever happens happens. Like if it's uh, I just just take my lumps as I take them. Well, you were certainly uh, giving out lumps uh, to uh, the bosses uh, today. So um, this was the last uh, playing of this co particular community uh, flag set. What did you think of uh, this kind of underground showcase? I, I, it, like to me, to me, this was um oh I don't know, I, I only just. Look, looked up the flag set as I um, load up the the seed. Essentially, it's like oh, which so it's like uh, so it went so my opening route of Rory Pass, and as I was looking, it's like oh, hang on, I need to do. There's a free key item. Oh, I should probably do that. Should have done that first. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> uh, but I think for um, for this access, I think it's kind of interesting because like I, I don't know my perspective of this is kind of walked on this because we had a starting palum and pal and i think for a character that's not e edge i think he he's probably the best starting character you could hope for uh because you know because because he in this fact set because he just like once he gets to quake he get no he can just do every 
do everything, you know, and you know, carry through overworld, especially if you get virus, because you usually get virus on all deals, um, if you do your, your normal, normal route. Um, but yeah, actually, I think, yeah, but other than that, like, no, at least you know what you're up to, up for, it kind of enforces the idea of, like, do your objectives and that kind of thing, so, I don't know, I, I enjoyed it. Well, good. We enjoyed uh, watching you. E Ninja, any uh, questions for Infinius? Uh, no, you actually covered pretty much all the ones I was going to ask as well. So, uh, Infinius, any uh, final thoughts on uh, the seed or uh, anything else? Uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing major. Just thank, you, thank to both you for doing for doing cons. Thank you, uh, Step Lively for doing tra tracking. Thank you, Daphis, for not too much vanilla. At least we got at least one i think right we got one we got the vanilla syrup so mm -hmm. pa partial, partial, partial credit. yeah yeah so uh just just enough to uh, remind you he's yeah. there right yeah yeah exactly <laughs> all right infinius ggs right. uh once again on your first place finish yeah gg i uh, thank you ggs And so our uh, runners are retracing each other's uh, steps a little bit. Cord's now only one uh, legend sword away. And Tibble does remember that the sealed cave is required and goes back to it. <laughs> you know, uh, it 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 always comes to you at some point. And maybe it doesn't come to you uh, first of all. But uh, but we'll see. <laughs> Maybe there's a, an explanation for it. But Sybil's, uh, yeah, I believe did use an hourglass against the uh, back dolls. They will not change into uh, the big doll. Yeah. Always a nice thing to do. Well, Korg's, uh did do the Earth Crystal. Found nothing uh, there. But luckily, the Earth Crystal deposits him right at Baron Castle, which is where he needs to go. And that was the last objective for Tibble. Yes, it and, was. And he's done it. Tibble finishes in second place with a time of 119. On the dot. GG's to Tibble. GG's. And we are joined by our second place finisher, Tibble. GG's. GG's, Tibble. So, uh, was resetting out of Sealed Cave intentional? Yes. Okay. Okay. Walk us through that. So, I wanted to, uh, my original plan was to check to see, see if Sealed Cave was a gating key item, you know, like Tower Key, Rat Tail, Baron. And if it wasn't, cool. I can get rid of my Quake Caster for a better anchor. And I can just end on Sealed Cave. Don't have to warp all the way back out. Uh, uh, I guess the only thing is that now your party is going to be stuck in there for all eternity. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it, once I saw it was an exhale, I'm like, cool, I don't have to worry about this. I can just end on this. Cool, I'm out. Because I did because if like if Wyvern's there, I didn't have great agility anchoring. I mean, there's bit of an issue is like if Ruby's there or Golbez. I'm like, no, I can come back later. Like, I know this is not gating anything. Cool. I'm out. <laughs> well, how happy were you? Because you found out about the uh, Okopogo on the moon. Um, how happy were you that the Legend Sword was not there? Yeah. With the, the party that we had, I... It, debatable, like... You got you got Cecil with the crystal sword and you have Rosa. What else more do you need? <laughs> so it's like if it was Ogo Pogo, fine. So be it. I've got some darts I can utilize. Uh it's fine. I don't care. You can stay up there. <laughs> well, I know Ninja had a hard hitting question uh for you. Yes, uh what what what's up with Tella's name? No, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Fine, nothing at all, huh? Yeah, don't worry about it. 
ca calling me an old man? Well, I mean, you are technically older than me, so by definition, you are older than me, so you are an old man. Yeah. Fair I, enough. <laughs> I thought the 81 referred to, to the age. Uh, <laughs> wow. No, my... Uh, my last question then for you, uh, Sybil, I guess, my last kind of seed specific question is, um, what do you think of this particular flag set kind of heroing uh, the underground, which isn't always uh, the focus of, uh, of what we do on these flags? It, it kind of brings me back to the, uh, the old underground racing club, except with this flag set, we don't exactly have to fight Z. And when it comes to win gaming, it's a completely different style of gameplay because you don't have to worry about, you know, Zoromus. You don't have to worry about getting end game levels immediately. You just got to get the levels that you think you need to get through most of the bosses in the seed. So it's a completely different aspect when it comes to win game. But definitely a fun flag set can definitely be pretty quick. And I saw, like, I saw the objectives kind of click. I'm like, uh, okay. Yeah, and with the Force Magma uh, flag on, you get uh, you get access to half the objectives almost instantaneously. Yeah, and it all depends on who who's sitting down there in the Fame Arch. And today it was Azura and Odin. I'm like, I don't have any, you know, Mute Knife, Rune Axe. All I got is an Elven Bow. I didn't think I had an Elven Bow at that time. And then I saw Odin, I'm like, okay... Well, I know there's Thunder Claws for sale. Uh, we'll come back later. <laughs> Those yep. are fun fights right now. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. And I'm like, I thought, I thought for a half second about Kanderstruck, but then I remembered I don't have any Thor Rages and I use my one Zeus Rage. Yeah, I never saw any Thor Rages uh, for sale. They had to have been somewhere. Yeah, I never checked any shops. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I checked the gated shops for hourglasses and coffins, and I, I bought a few bacas because that's all I had the money I had for, <laughs> was for the few bacas. I'm like, yeah. But, you know, no, no illusions, nothing like that. It was like, eh, I'm not even going to try Kanderstruck. There's no point. I mean, you can technically jump every single uh, Odin Strike if you want, but you have to worry about his other hits that can knock you silly. Well then, uh, Tybalt, any final thoughts on the seed or uh, anything else you want to talk about? No, just, I mean, I probably should have left Evelyn as soon as I got that Stardust Ride, because that was early on especially with that all gauntlet that was me oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah for sure uh, your, your uh, Palin was definitely uh, doing work all by himself there for the early game Palin was MVP and that was oh, so nice and then you get a little bit later you find a crystal ring You're like, okay cool I got defense defense sword well Kane shows up. He's useful. <laughs> yeah. But no, definitely. Thanks for you know doing commentaries. I always love watching these back. I I definitely have to see how I lost almost ten minutes on my old two v two partner. There's got to be something that I did that uh, he didn't do. Besides, uh, check the moon. Well, let me. They, hey, I got Cecil on the moon. Like. Uh... I mean, like, are that early on with the I like, had five members. Like, if you've got Water Hag at the Bahamut spot, be a six, whole day, you're through the fight. You know? Yep. Like, you gotta check it. It's one of those things of like, it, you check it or you don't check it, and it's usually the opposite you get burned by. So, true. Well, uh, GG's 119, a yep. very good time, and uh, congratulations on your second place finish. Thank you. GG's, man. And always, uh, thanks for doing the restream and the commentary. We, we we couldn't put these shows on without you. Hey, you could. It'd just be a lot quieter. <laughs> true. <laughs> this is true.
<laughs> Have a good one. Bye. And Cubs Rule 21 off stream finished in third place with a time of 123.33. And on stream, Microcorps finished in fourth place with a time of 125.01. Uh, GG's to both of them. And uh, Microcorps will not be uh, joining us from an for an interview, but uh, a great uh, show, as he always does, uh, and uh, well worth the follow that you no doubt have already given him, and if not, you can just do that now, and I'll pretend I didn't notice you push the button right now. Yeah. And so, Scars are in Baring Castle. Uh, And I believe just needs his legend sword, uh, and will get it from the basement. Yep. And uh, and Scarcer will have a fun uh, decision to make once he gets his legend sword here. Uh, we'll have nothing left to do, and so Ninja, when you have this kind of situation. Uh, do you walk back out of the waterway, or do you fight your way out of Baron Castle? Uh, tough call there, really. I believe walking out, if you uh, if you do your movements uh, right, is gonna be faster most of the time. Yeah, it's it's not really that much faster, but it is a little bit faster. Yeah. But, you know, fighting your way out is just fun. Yeah. It, it is close, but... Um, the, the... And, and this does assume the perfect movement, which, you know, who has perfect movement? I know I don't. Mm, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm the bonk man uh, when I play uh, this game at least that's the way it seems to me but Scarcerer uh, stays upright to get the speech from the Dark Knight gets their legend sword and now knows all he has to do is find a way to get the Coco. And so, uh, Scarcer is going to uh, fight his way out, going to find the King and Queen Evelyn on their new throne. Pallet swap. And here they go. Does have Edge to uh, deliver the killing blow to his own parents, which is always sad to see, but at least no speech at all. And so while uh, Scarcerer is uh, finishing up, do want to remind you uh, that there is a race tomorrow. And it, that will be on twitch.tv slash free enterprise. Uh, it's the Mom Spaghetti Club. It's at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Possum Morpheus and uh, Vitasia, the club captain, will be on the mics uh, for that. So join us then. Uh, oh, that Mom would be Spaghetti is, yeah, Mom Spaghetti, one of the uh, new additions to the club scene uh, this season, uh, named after that feeling of, of uh, dread you get uh, when. You don't have all that many objectives to do, and, uh, and and they might be well within reach, and you have a lot of options. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I know I, I've been doing a lot of the uh, asyncs of it. And so, what do you what do you think of of that uh, of that club? Um, in general, is that a fun uh, kind of concept? I it's. 
definitely really quick. <laughs> yeah, you like a uh, you like a race where you just go go go, and uh, you can get out of town uh, quickly. Mom's spaghetti is for you. That's at three p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Tomorrow on Saturday on Free Enterprise. And Scarcer about to get his Nirvana staff, about to get his victory with winning I... the game. I did, I did, I do like Scarcer whole steal. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gonna buy some ribbons. You can't take the money with you. You might as well pick up something nice. And Scarcerer finishes in fifth place with a time of 1.32.16. GG's to Scarcerer. Now with a few more ribbons to celebrate with. And we are joined by Scarcerer. GG's. Thank you. GG. So that seemed like a fun uh, race to run, just all kinds of uh, rabbit holes and uh, all kinds of ways you could have gone. How did you feel about your run overall? Um, I feel I, I feel pretty okay about it. I <laughs> I I didn't last location go mode. <laughs> only almost well uh, it was really tough to not last location uh, go mode with where everything was buried uh, especially what was up there on the moon oh I'm so glad that wasn't required but I would have <laughs> so deserved it oh come on that would have been fun I was hoping I mean it builds character Aw, oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> it's a noodle you can say yes to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that was a... I mean, really... I mean, I had Trevor Strats. I'd have been fine. <laughs> that was a really nasty uh, Bay March, um, and it took most runners a couple of tries uh, to get through it, but you did uh, manage to get through. Odin, how did you kind of approach uh the fey march and uh, tell us about your your winning fight there um so it was just it was all cover strats if if cecil if cecil can take two hits he can take the rest he can take the fight just, just needs to be alive long enough to blink him so it was it was a bit of a gamble doing it for odin but i figured that with that I could just put it off to as far as possible to make sure I had the damage rush it helped having a couple of extra x cows to dart yeah that is always uh, nice when uh, the seed gives you a plethora of holy swords right <laughs> yeah it's also nice to put a curse ring on palum and still get quad nines <laughs> Yeah, it sure is. That edge actually uh, came up uh, very big for you. Not everybody went into the, the hook route to get him. What uh, were you looking for edge specifically when you went down that way? Uh, I was looking for another character. I was actually looking for a little bit more power to get the cane off Hobbs because I initially wiped there. And I know... And Kane, you know, everyone dogs on Kane, but he does his job. He d and he does it. Well, he does it well enough. Uh, that is the reason why he is patently average. Okay. Sees get degrees. <laughs> and if his job is betrayal, then he does it with relish. Exactly. Well, some of those low rolls definitely betrayed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did what did you think of having uh, Palum as your starting uh, character? Is he one of those characters you like to start with? I mean, I don't know about liking to start with him, but I like Palum. I like I like the Quack Kid. It's it's fun to just 
ha it's, it, he's he's a nice tool to have in our box. Quake is an excellent spell. It sure is. He's consistent. Ninja, any questions for Scarcerer? Uh, no, actually, that was actually a pretty good uh, bunch of questions. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, Scarcerer, any final thoughts you have uh, on the seed or anything else you want to talk about? One of these days I'll be uh, powerful enough to do an illogical underground. What do you mean by that? Well, the hook was on the overworld, and it's Force Magma. So it's some of, one of these days, I'll get a seed where it's possible. Maybe not fast, but possible. And it was probably possible with this one, but it, it just felt better to do everything else. Yeah, well, when uh, the seed hands you a magma key, some <laughs> sometimes that's not the, the worst idea to just uh, drop it in the well. Uh, well, that's gone. Uh, well, thank well, you for putting on in. Yeah, thank you for uh, for running. It was a lot of fun uh, watching you and the rest of the runners. Uh, GG's once again, Scars, are a very respectable time. GG, man. GG. Have a good night, y'all. And with that, uh, we are through with Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise uh, for another night. Don't forget on uh, Free Enterprise Prime, twitch.tv slash Free Enterprise, 3 p.m. Eastern is the uh, Mom Spaghetti uh, Club. Definitely want to uh, join us for that. And so, uh, do want to thank our restreamer, Dathis, our tracker uh who had a lot to do in in a short amount of time uh step lively uh and you e ninja 81 it was a, a lot of fun hanging out with you on a friday night and you as well she launcher yeah check us out uh check out the discord uh check us out on youtube if you uh, are a bit behind uh with the uh with the videos from uh, our last few community races if you uh, still need to catch some of the tournament uh, VODs. YouTube's a great place uh, to do it. Hi, YouTube. Uh, good to see you. Hi. Uh, and um, we uh, we are on uh, the, the social media network, uh, formerly known as uh, Twitter, so you can check us out uh, there. But uh, until next time, uh, we're going to uh, sign off. My name is uh, Sheep Launcher. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, and until then, so long. Have a good night.